Live from our Jackson studio. Uh, <laughs> live from the Midtown Jackson studio and live from well in to Deep 13, this is Last Call Cafe on Spreaker with the animalistic Jay the Brain Man, the animalistic Matthew the Wizard Nichols, and... The pause for consideration, Steve, the Baxman Baxley. I'm Franklin Pangborn, your announcer, with Morgul as a friendly drug. Let's go to the cafe and find out what's going on and join the guys on a whole crowd. It's Lost Call Cafe on Spreaker! audience in the free world plus Oklahoma. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Last Call Cafe on the Sabarica. Steve the Baxman Baxley here with you, modest as we are here on this broadcast. Welcome. And let's go ahead and introduce the uh, fine, fine fellas that we have on this broadcast. Of course, we mentioned one. He is the gamer's best friend. He has a show right here. It's called Last Call Cafe. He does gamer news. And believe it or not, we have a sponsor for it. It's shocking. Here he is, gamer's best friend, our good buddy, Matthew Nichols, the wizard. Sup? Just snacking on an orange. Freshly squeezed, obviously. <laughs> anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what would we be without this man at the helm of Helms? He is still the manager of champions. He is still the undefeated, undisputed, intergender wrestling champion of the world. Take that, Vincent Candy McMahon, you putz. Ladies and gentlemen, the host of Jada Brain Man presents Wrestling May Hut, starring Jada Brain Man, Steve Baxman, Baxley, Saturdays on Spalika. And he's Betty White's favorite chew toy. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only. Jada Brain Man. Part of the. Blah, blah. Blah. Yeah, and that all could be yours for $19.95 at JCPenney. Anyway, folks, we begin, as always, with whatever is on Jay the Brain Man's mind. That's right, it's Brain Waves. Brain, what kind of topic you got today? I got nothing. And that's Brain Waves for this week. <laughs> Next week. A topic. Who knows? It's all on Jay's mind. Okay. That was quick, wasn't it, kids? Anyway, it's time now for all of us to sit back, relax, and bring up to our little bungalow here the man himself, Mr. Franklin Pangmore, and our announcer who celebrates five years as our announcer here on the broadcast. And you 
got your thing you must do. Thank you very much. It's time for Gamer News with Matthew the Wizard Nichols. This episode is sponsored in part by the folks at Pluto TV. If you're a gamer, you'll love what they got for you. Now, with the Gamer News, here's the Wizard. Matt? Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay. Uh, all right. This week on Gamer News, what we finally got. The prices for the Series S and Series X. Yep, the Series S has been announced, finally. And the price for the Series S is $299, and the Series X is going to be $499. Release date's going to be November 10th, and the pre-orders are going to start on September 22nd. And Sony's going to have a PS5 event on the 16th, which is this Wednesday. Hopefully that means that Sony's going to announce for PS5 and the pre-order date and excuse me, and open it up. We've been waiting for a pretty long while and Sony really needs to announce the freaking price. Is is that all there is, or is there more? <laughs> um, uh, Prince of the Prince of Persia is getting a remake uh, next year. Yep, Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time is coming up, coming back, and it's getting a. I'm waiting for the queue. <laughs> okay, I guess we got the queue. Thanks, Matt. Okay. Thank you, Matt. And tonight's edition of Gamer News is sponsored in part by Pluto TV. Now featuring a gaming and anime channels, 805 to 848, Anime All Day, Naruto, and for those of you who want to see the uh, Japanese, the original of Power Rangers, you can see that, the entire area of one, and a whole lot more on Toko Shatsu, all that, and a whole lot more on Pluto TV, it's free, Pluto.TV. We'll see you next week with more Gamer News here on Wild Cafe. I'm Franklin Pangborn. Okay, Matt, thank you very much, my friend. Very informative portion. Very informative. <laughs> yep, Sony and Mer- yeah, Microsoft finally announced the price. And now, all places only will do, because we are running out of time, and we really, 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 really got into the price and the pre-orders. And by the way, for those of you who are fans of TikTok, you don't have to worry, because Oracle beat out uh, Microsoft for the U.S. ownership. So, TikTok... It's David! Yay! Okay, before we go on any further, got a little uh, shout-out to give. Good friend, Miss Mandy Summers. Tonight, they uh, close out on Super, on Super Dead. Uh, they are uh, going to open up the uh, 
perks and everything, go to Indiegogo.com and uh, look up Super Dead. It is fantastic. So Mandy Summers, Peter Gilmore, Wyatt Holiday, and all the folks making it possible, making it fun to read the comic books again. Okay. Congratulations. Let's have some applause there, boys and girls. Let's have the applause. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, got a little news. As you know, we like we like to make mention of the fact that when some of our predictions come true, we like to do a little bragging. We knew this was going to happen, but we didn't think it would be this way. However, well, they got no choice. That's right, kiddies. Uh, for those of you who are wanting to. Uh, Continue your Thanksgiving tradition of, uh, of course, the turkey, the football, and, of course, the parade. Well, got a little update on uh, that for you. Oops, hello, I missed the number, but I think we've got it. Uh, the boys and girls over there at uh, NBC and Macy's have uh, made the announcement that was predicted. Uh, the Thanksgiving Day Parade will be virtual this year. That's right. Uh, let's go to let's go to our little newsy here. Uh, the uh, this year's. Uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade will be reimagined amid the coronavirus pandemic, with organizers opting to make the iconic, and I'm stalling here for time so that every can be beautified here on the... Uh, Year's Thanksgiving Day Parade will be reimagined amid the coronavirus pandemic with organizers opting to make the holiday season kickoff event virtual. Uh, they will uh, have it on tape uh, two days. They'll tape two days of it. The uh, iconic floats and balloons will not be handled by handlers but will be driven by autos. And uh, they'll still have some uh, Broadway singers, etc. Uh, so uh, it it will. Uh, I'm on. Uh, we're uh, live right now. Can uh, the request wait, or would you like this to be part of the broadcast? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. That was, that was, thank you. Yes, it's in a safe location. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, parental. Oh, that's, that's quite all right. That's quite all right. Anyway. So, uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade, uh, canceled, but they're still going to have it, but it's, uh, going to be virtual and on tape. So there you go. The clause will still be there. Hey. Okay, and uh, they still are going to do the, uh, come on, keep going there. Uh, they still don't know how they're going to be doing the Emmys this year, but knowing knowing how this is hosted by Jim, I'll find a way to make it uh, and or safe, buddy. That again? Never know. Uh, still no word. The Detroit Thanksgiving Parade is going to be uh, doing the same. We understand that uh, Philadelphia, uh, their Thanksgiving Parade a while back, not waiting for everybody else. So uh, there you go. Let's uh, let's get to some uh, more happier things if we can, guys, and get to some. Uh, weird news, weird nostril. Get on with the happiness and the joy that is. Uh, what we do here, poor Vu. And 
let's go to it. Okay. Boy, am I glad we'll be doing this on Sundays again. A lock of hair from President Abraham Lincoln's post-mortem examination along with a bloodstained telegram delivered shortly after his assassination sold for over $81,250. This is true. That's right. Let me give you a little reading of that. Uh, Lincoln's thick lock of hair, about two inches long, and mounted to the official telegram sold at auction Saturday, according to a statement from RR Auctions of Boston, Inc. The lock of hair ended up in the custody of Dr. Lyman Beecher Todd, a cousin of Lincoln's widow, Mary Todd Lincoln. Todd was present at the post-mortem examination and is believed to have wrapped the hair clipping in the telegram, which his assistant, George Kinnear, sent to him the previous day. The above telegram arrived in Washington a few minutes after Abraham Lincoln was shot. A typed caption prepared by Dr. Lyman Beecher, uh, Lyman Beecher Todd's son, James A. Todd, reads, Next day at the postmortem, when a lock of hair clipped from near the president's left temple was given to Dr. Todd, finding no other paper in his pocket, he wrapped the lock stained with blood or brain fluid in this telegram and hastily wrote on it in pencil, hair of A. Period Lincoln, end quote. The item sold for $81,250, which was more than the 75000 the auction house expected to fetch since they went up for auction online late last month. Not bad. I wonder how much, I wonder how much my lock of hair during this quarantine is going to be worth <laughs> two cents. Anyway, let uh, going. Uh, ball python snake located unharmed after being on the loose since August 30th. Uh, Niagara Regional Police said hmm, buzzing. Uh, the ball python snake was located unharmed in the area uh, of Ashby Drive, uh, Lincoln Police said in an update. Uh, added the Ontario Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, I see they don't uh, put politics on there, <laughs> came to and said the snake is safe. Police warned residents that the ball python snake had gone missing. The python is at least a few feet in length with black and brown scales. Oh, it would just show, yes. Just testing my mic because it's acting up. Ah. They are non-venomous, native to West and Central Africa, and got them from their tendency to grow into a ball when stressed. Much like maybe some of us. A bite would still be painful as their mouth has roughly 150 needle-sharp teeth designed to hook into prey. They are the smallest of the African pythons, growing to a maximum length of six feet. Eat. Okay, and our last little oddity of uh, odd news before we uh, hit, hit over to the general and uh, do a little cleanup. Did, did we order baseball here? No, we didn't. We did not order baseball here. Come on, guys. Give, give, me, uh, give me a little break there in the control room. I know what we want. I know what we're looking for here. Okay. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Okay. Let's let's get to the little part here that might get all of us a uh, little breath. There. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. It's great to have people behind the scenes. A gambling website is offering $500 to a winning applicant willing to serve as a professional cheeseburger tester. Bonusfinder.com, based in Amsterdam, says it is seeking a cheeseburger taster to find the best burger in the United States by grading burgers on criteria including patty texture... Didn't you once date a person by the name of Patty Texture uh, Brain? No. 
Uh, oh, and uh, let's see, patty texture, patty seasoning, bun softness, bun taste, complexity of flavors used, relish in our sauce taste, cheese flavor, and creaminess. Value for money and quality of the ingredients. Now, the believe it or not, will receive $500 as well as funds for travel and to purchase the cheeseburgers the applicant is instructed to taste and review. The company said the randomly selected winner will be announced October 9th. The tasters' reviews will be published on the Bonus Finder website. The company's Canadian site, bonusfinder.ca, is offering a similar position to find Canada's top cheeseburger. Man, $500 to feast on a cheeseburger. I mean, that'd be something, wouldn't it? That'd be the ultimate contest right there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, let's see. One more little story, and then we got Mon General here. Then next week, we'll get you some comedy bits and everything else therein. Yeah, that's next week. We're back to somewhat normal. If you can, if you can believe normality. Uh, let's see, 40-pound African serval cat has been found in New Hampshire. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see, 62-year-old python lays eggs 15 years after last encounter with a male. Weird, isn't it? Uh, an Idaho man breaks state record with 42-inch flathead catfish. Still didn't impress a woman. And uh, let's see, fisherman caught a caught or catches a fisherman caught 2,645 hours, setting a Guinness record for most fish caught in a single 24-hour period. I don't know what his secret is, but man, oh man, all that fish, mm. somewhere there's an ultimate fish fry being planned. Okay, Pangmorn, do your stuff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to right the wrongs and put the wicked in its in their place. I gotta write these better. It's time. For the insidious belch of the week. And joining us now is General Big Jimmy, Billy Bob Bo Schwartz, and Lieutenant Timmy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Eddie. Smoke them if you got them. Eat them if you bake them. Thank you. Eddie's gentlemen, how you doing, Brain? How's it going? I wish I had a mic that wasn't being f- stupid for no reason. I understand that. <laughs> um, Wizard, how you doing, sir? Been better. I know the feeling. Max man, how's everything with you? Uh, the same. Ah, uh, yes, I noticed you uh, still haven't gotten that window fixed, nor have you got... I know, I know. I at least got something up there that will uh, keep out the cold. Okay. Uh, General, what you got for us today? Well, you shouldn't put your mother up there. <laughs> very, very good. Very, very, ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Well, boss, 
I gotta tell you it, man. The old general. Well. Uh. I gotta give it. Today's belch. The Detroit Lions. After la after yesterday, raising the hopes of football fans everywhere, or at least Lion fans everywhere, with a 23 to six lead over the Chicago Bears on opening day. And then came the fourth quarter, and they tanked to where they lost, 27-23. And to their coach, Matt, I was in the New England Patriots in the Super, and I won Super Bowl trophies for Trisha. Mr. Coach, I hope you can hear me when I say if you lose the next full game, your address won't be Allen Park. It won't be downtown Detroit. It will be somewhere in Hale, Michigan. He can't hear you. I figured that. Timmy, you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. By the way, uh, you gonna give uh, you you know what we talk about uh, the gerbil of of the Big Ten? Oh yeah. Get him on this, too. The president of the Big Ten, who started this whole thing, not playing. Come on. We need a distraction from all this coronavirus <sighs> buck -wack -wack. When ready, fire. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. I smell tacos. And one for you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week with a proper one. Gentlemen, as you were. I don't know how you were, but as you were. General, how's the setup going? It is going good. I have a, I had my call, which we will have for you uh, next week, with uh, two gentlemen that helped all of us get rid of uh, 2019, and, uh, we made the deal, so, it's all ready, it's all ready, I can't wait, oh, oh boy, this best see y'all next week, all right, Big Jimmy, Billy Bobbo Schwartz, Mon General, thank you very much for joining us. Well, none of them can be winners, can they? Okay, folks, we are at that point in the program where, um, oh, we might as well tell them. Uh, Taco Bells, you know, why couldn't you get rid of them? Taco Bell may have redeemed themselves. Uh, they have come up with a one. I don't know if they're going to do this. Sell it at Taco Bell. It is uh, Pino uh, uh, Noir. Uh. That's right. The the wine is Jalapeno Noir. Uh, not many uh. details are known about it, but as you can tell, Jay already has drunk it. <laughs> we'll be back to our own insanities. Uh, next uh, Saturday at the uh, same time, 11 o'clock. Everything will be back to nor no, wait, yeah, no, su Sunday. We're on Sunday. Even I forget. We'll see you Sunday night, everybody, at uh, 11 o'clock. We go live to tape. And, and uh, Saturday, we go live to tape with the uh, Wrestle Anime Hut. But uh, thank you all for... Uh, oh. Any final words before we uh, say our good night? Is Brian? anyone else here? Is anyone else hearing an echo from me? Nope. Nope.
Oh yeah, I am listening to myself to make sure that I am heard. That must be it. Indeed. Uh, Matt, you got uh, anything uh, more for us? Well, I really hope that Sony can announce the praise for that live stream Wednesday along with the release and pre-orders because we've been waiting long enough. Microsoft already blinked, so now it's they got no more excuses. We will let you know in November. Yes, indeed. November of this year, we hope. We will let you know five That's minutes before. We will let you know five minutes before the console is released. This is true. And with that, for the brain, the wizard, the general, <sighs> Lieutenant Jimmy. And Ross Pangborn, Steve and, my, and, my, and my mic, and and your Mike Fred, or your Mike, or your Mike Mike. I am the Baxman, saying we'll see you next Sunday, eleven o'clock on Spreaker. Till then, this has been a presentation of Mr. Fine Creativity Productions, in association with Iron Scan Entertainment. For Spreaker! Alright.